How to become a professionally qualified civil engineer. The best way to show how much you know and can do in your civil engineering role is to become a professionally qualified engineer. The Institution of Civil Engineer or ICE qualifications are recognized internationally, so you could potentially work anywhere in the world. More importantly, investing the time and effort needed really pays off. Getting letters after your name is a great feeling. In addition, when you qualify, you're also telling your employers that you are highly capable and committed. This puts you in a stronger position when it comes to promotion and salary. Hi, my name is Jess Kodak and you're watching JK Civil Engineer YouTube channel. Let's dive in into how to become a professionally qualified civil engineer with the Institution of Civil Engineer. There are mainly three stages to become a qualified civil engineer with the Institution of Civil Engineer. Your academic qualifications, your work experience also called Initial Professional Development or IPD, passing your professional review. Let's discuss each stage in more depth. Academic qualifications. There are mainly three grades of professional qualifications with the Institution of Civil Engineer. Technician Engineer or EngTech, Incorporated Engineer or iEng, Chartered Engineer or CEng. To become a Technician Engineer or EngTech, you will need an approved Level 3 Diploma or HNC or HND or Foundation degree. Achieving the EngTech qualification shows your competence as a technician engineer and your commitment to professional standards. To become an incorporated engineer or iEng, you will need an accredited bachelor's degree. If you do not have a bachelor's degree but you have foundation degree, HNC or HND, you can work towards becoming an incorporated engineer or iEng by further learning to bring your qualifications up to the level of education required for iEng. The iEng title is protected by law and becoming iEng qualified shows your current and future employees, clients and peers that you are a competent engineer. To become a Chartered Engineer or CEng, you will need accredited 4 years integrated MEng degree or a bachelor's degree plus accredited master's degree. The title CEng is protected by law as its title Chartered Civil Engineer and is one of the most recognizable international engineering qualifications. What is Initial Professional Development or IPD? The IPD is where you develop the special skills, knowledge and experience that help you to become a professional qualified. Your IPD is measured against a set of attributes which you can achieve in three stages knowledge a basic understanding and knowledge of the attribute how you achieve it experience achieving the attributes in different situation working under supervision ability achieving the attribute in different situation assisting others and working unsupervised how do i get my ipd there are mainly three key ways to complete your ipd ICE training scheme this is a structured training program run by your employer you will receive support and guidance throughout your training from a supervising civil engineer or SCE who your employer assigns to you. This is a highly recommended method to complete your IPD. Mentor support training. This is similar to the ICE training scheme but is not run by your employer. You are responsible for managing your own training with the support of a mentor who will need to be approved by the ICE. Career appraisal. If you have enough experience to show achievement of the required professional attributes, career appraisal is the best way forward to complete your RPD. What is a professional review? A professional review is the final stage in becoming professionally qualified. This is where you prove that you have developed all the right skills to become professionally qualified. The professional review itself is made up of three steps. Initial application. This gives the information to arrange for your professional review. Submission. You will need to produce and submit a report of up to 5,000 words showing how you meet all the requirements to become an incorporated or chartered engineer along with your CPD records. Professional review. You will be interviewed by experienced civil engineers professionals. Be prepared to discuss your report and show off your knowledge. 
you will also have to complete a written exercise which is an assessment of your written skills. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.